Irony is when residents in a farming community work jobs growing fresh produce, but can't access or afford it. A health advocate in Tulare County, California, and the local food bank found a cool way to change that. So there'd be times when my husband and I would go for bike rides in the community, and then we would realize that there was a lot of fruit trees in, in the city. And thinking about, well, weren't we just hearing or talking about the fact that we have communities who can't get access to fresh produce or can't get access to enough fresh produce? Isn't there something that we can do? Here's a resource and it's abundant and the tree produces fruit to nourish people. The tree is doing its job. Why isn't this fruit being eaten? Their big idea, produce cleaning. It means having volunteers who, with permission, gather leftover produce from the farms or backyard gardens and donate them free of charge to places like food banks. They brought the idea to the food bank, which had already banned sugary drinks and required half of donations to be fruits and veggies, lean meats, and dairy products. The food bank was really receptive to the idea of receiving produce. Uh, there was a lot of questions about issues of liability and also what types of produce would come in, how would we organize it, how would we get it inside the warehouse and store it. The distribution, no issue there because the distribution, the food bank works with so many agencies, they felt that it would be easy for them to move the produce out. They started a website. Homeowners can register their available produce trees, how much they want to share, and more. Volunteers can get a liability form for safety, sign up for times to glean, and share if they have tools, trucks, and pruning equipment to bring along. To let people know what we were doing was that the same way that we identified the trees to begin with by biking around the community and seeing it, we thought we would use that same mechanism to bike around the community and put flyers on doors every time we saw a tree that was unharvested. And that way, not only did we know where we were going, but it also meant we knew that the tree was there and it was producing excess fruit that someone wasn't harvesting. Maybe they would let us collect it. They gleaned their first crop in fall 2010 and donated it all to the food bank. They also teach healthy cooking with such produce. These days, 5% of the food bank's fresh produce comes from gleaning, and the bank's is well below its 10% limit of junk food donations. This year we were able to bring in about 80,000 pounds of produce into the food bank. So there's a lot of opportunities to address obesity in our community. Definitely increasing access is a good first start. I think incorporating it with the education to include the preserving, to include the how to cook with it is the next step. And those are big steps because maybe once you begin to utilize it and to cook it, you'll, you might improve how much of it you incorporate into your everyday eating.